All right, welcome everyone to a banished red ketchup mod tutorial. Now, if you are already at the modding, playing modded games phase, uh, you probably already know how to put a mod on your banished account. But if you don't, uh, you can find it in the workshop and install it and then make sure that it's enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and start a brand new city and show you how I play. So we'll call this Tutorial Town. We'll just pick a random map seed. We'll go with let's say Peaks Lakes. Really you can you can pick any of those. We'll leave it on terrain size large. Climate there, disasters definitely on. I like the disasters on. Now there's all these different starts, and I'm not going to spend time explaining each one because you can read. You know, Jack and Jill starts with one family, no tools, no clothes. Very difficult. Uh, Adam and Eve starts with again one family. They get a little bit more stuff, but it's very difficult. Uh, and, th and then they get easier as you come down here down to easy itself uh, farmer you get some seeds uh, the shepherd you get some animals there's a, a variety of different ways that you could play the game uh, I think I will go with a hard alternate start and uh, we get one seed but no livestock and I'll show you uh, how to how to work with that it takes a minute or two to load, but once you have your uh, starting place, what I like to do, uh, first of all, pause the game and just get your bearings. I heard this, uh, unfortunately I don't remember which YouTuber I heard it from, but I got this tip when I first started finding out about Vanished. You know, pause figure out where the heck you are. Right now all we can see is a ton of water here. So what does that even mean? Uh, I like to get my tools. So the first thing I like to have, I put the event log down at the bottom. I put the information panel in the top left. This is just the way people play. This is my choice. And I like to put the professions right there. It gives me all this space to see what I'm doing. And I've got eight adults, seven children, got no houses but it's early spring and we know that we have some seeds that was part of the description of this start so one of the first things I should probably do is slap down a field uh, and then start building houses but let's get our bearings like I said do that first so we've got one ginormous lake in the middle that is everything but that's good because we can now utilize this coast for traders and we can utilize the coast for fishing. Uh, one of the things to note before we even get started that's different about the red ketchup mod, not only are there different buildings and different types of uh, work that you can do, there's two other things that you need to know from the outset. One. You've got this TP seed in stock. This is a trading post that will specialize in seed, i.e. for food, and stock, i.e. animals. So if you think you can manage with all these other resources to be able to get your buildings up and all of that, you might want to go for that pretty quickly. And you'll notice it costs 48 wood. 32 stone and 12 iron so that's not too crazy uh, we'll probably see there's an iron deposit here iron deposit there we could probably get that iron made fairly quickly uh, so within the first few years I'm already thinking trading post right here right? Uh, but before we get ahead of ourselves too much just want to you know scan around here how far do we have here's a mountain we might be able to put an iron or coal mine in. 
maybe put a downtown right here. Just let this be our main city. But if we do that, where are we going to gather food from? That's, that's something we immediately need to do. So here's what I'm going to do. Now, this is pretty much my, my go-to, you know, I, I don't, I'm not somebody who uh, has a, a crazy strategy every time. Uh, I don't have a, a formula, but I, a gatherer's hut will get us some food. So we'll put that down first. And since we don't want to have a whole bunch of houses taking up the area of that gatherer's hut, let's get our uh, people building houses somewhere else. Now, if you look in the red ketchup menu, see this This is the community toolbar, this red ketchup mods, this, you can spend 20 minutes just going through what each of these do, but we'll learn by doing here. Uh, I've, I've played with this a good bit. And if you go, these are two-story houses, it's the third one over, and you'll notice that these are 24 wood and only 6 stone. And we don't have any wood or stone yet, so we're going to have to gather that. But I really like the idea of getting these houses down to start with. So we'll put, remember, dark blue and brown, because when we do the second floor, if you want them to match, you can do that. So. Uh, here I'm going to hit the letter F on my keyboard to change the color. So there's my dark blue, and there's my brown. And then just for fun, I'll put a road here, and I'll put this road up to the gatherer's hut. Now, it does not appear... Oh, we do have a food cart there. Okay, so we have some storage up here, which is good. The gatherer won't have far to take the, that. Um, but if you recall, I mentioned we have some seeds. So that's the other thing I'm going to get them started on is a crop field. So we have our houses and we'll put... Well, there's, there's all sorts of formulas. I like to do, because I can remember it, 8x10, right, like a sheet of paper. Um, I, so we'll do that. I'll put two people on building, we're going to need, so this menu here with the axe and the stump, this is gathering. So there are functions in the red ketchup mod that you don't have in the broader game. And this is one that's important. You can gather pretty much anything. This one is dead wood, i.e. firewood. We only have 100 firewood, so I'm going to need to do that. We only have 1,200 food, so I'm going to need to collect some wild food. But you, this is also how you select, you know, we want to harvest some trees, so we'll mark a few of those. I'm also going to mark uh, a little area here for the stockpile. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and get things fired up here and watch our little bandies go. I like to do um, 5x. I have no idea why these people are going this way. They shouldn't be. Is that a kid, maybe? So I put in, you probably saw, I put in four houses, so they're two two-story houses, which is perfect for only 15 people. That should be plenty, uh, but there's no wood and there's no stone yet, so that's part of what they're doing. They're chopping down trees to get the wood that will be necessary for that. I'm going to also have them gather some of this other stone in the area. Eventually we'll get all this stone, we'll get all this iron, we'll get all this copper from up here. Now some people might argue with me and say I shouldn't have them doing building the city center so far away from the food cart at the beginning. Uh, that might hurt us eventually, but for right now I'm not I'm not super concerned about it. It's not that far of a walk, and they seem to be doing okay. Getting you can see they already have 18 of 24, four of six. They're they're moving it over. And if you're not super familiar with Banished. Um, all right, it's still spring, so we'll go ahead and grow some kale here. We've got a farmer. There should be somebody that will start planting kale. That's sort of ironic because I'm far from a kale fan myself, but you know, we'll do we'll do what we can. So now we want to do this. We want to gather food. Now you'll see there are a few spots on here that it's collecting wild food. 
and if you zoom in, this is one of the things I love about this mod. Uh, you can see there's a little bush here, and it looks like some little maybe mushrooms. Uh, but I think that's neat because you can see they'll go over and, and gather that. Now, in a little bit, I am going to start, I may put in a hunter, but I'm also going to start marking these little spots. This is, sorry for the rain, I hurt the audio a little bit. But I like it. I know you can turn it off in the options, but I like it. It makes it more realistic. You'll notice some other things that are unique to the red ketchup mod. We've got some silver here, silver ore, that you can turn into silver bars and make into different things. The production chain is insane, but I'm not going to teach you all of that in this first episode. Okay, here's what I'm looking for. This is flax. Now, you can't just grab a person and come over here. So what I do is uh, collect flowers, and then I'll just mark this. And eventually one of these folks will... She actually came pretty fast. I don't know if I'll be able to click on her. But you can see it's a basket with green stuff in. That was three flax. You might be wondering, why the heck do you need flax? That seems unnecessary for a um, primitive society. <laughs> but actually, flax will be very helpful for... Um, the flax will be helpful for making linen, and then we can make clothes. So I'm going to mark this dead wood here. Uh, I'm marking this dead wood because that will help us up here for our firewood. We're we're stalling out a little bit. We need to cut down more trees, and that's my fault. We're not marking more of that for them to do. We need more trees. We need more stone. We're going to need plenty, plenty, plenty of stuff here. But we've got a couple people gathering, and they're, you can see they're already bringing stuff in. 48 roots, 48 mushrooms. They're even getting firewood for us. Uh, so we're we're off to a, an okay start. I'll tell you what, it's summer right now. I'll feel very happy if this turns into four houses and all these little houses <laughs> needing home icons go away uh, in the very near future. You can see little animals here too. There were some bears up there. These look like deer, perhaps, maybe elk. Uh, so it might be worth it to put in a hunter, because the hunter will also give us. Yeah, there's the bears. Uh, let's see these little bears over here, and they, they're they don't directly interact. They're not gonna like kill your people while they're out trying to work. Um, but the bears do. You can kill them for food. That's one nice thing that they're in the game for. Alright, so we've got two houses. See, there's a 16 year old girl and a 5 year old girl. Not ideal. A 14 year old boy, a 10 year old boy, and a 10 year old girl. And the, the reason I say not ideal is that we'd like to have that sort of traditional male and female living together so that we can get offspring increase the size of our community. Um, so hopefully eventually we'll they'll they'll pair off into uh, folks that can uh, connect up. Now I, I'm personally partial to this dark blue color, so here we go. A nineteen year old boy, nineteen year old girl. The gatherer and the laborer and uh, there's probably the farmer. Yeah the farmer lives here across the street. Um, Again, this is another thing that, this is not super efficient the way I set it up because these, the farmer is having to carry everything up here to the, to the supply cart. So, uh, I could have flipped this and put the town here by the cart and I could have put the gatherer down here. Uh, I guess it's all in, in how you want to set things up. I made my choice, so I'm going to go with it now. Uh, you can see there's a little bit more flax here, so I'm going to want to watch that. You can also see there's some food down here, so we want to mark that for sure because we're already only at 213 food. So despite my plan to put a trader down here, uh, I'm going to improvise and I'm going to put a fishing dock in. Does that work? 
they'll build that pretty quick. Uh, we've got plenty of wood and stone. Alright, so we're getting cold here. Let's go ahead and build. This is a, uh, a lumber mill, it's called. I typically call it a sawmill. Um, we're going to put that right beside the stockpile so that we can start making both firewood, which we are out of, but it will also help us make um, lumber, actual proper lumber, which is really good for uh, several of the, I wouldn't say they're more advanced buildings, but they're different buildings. So you can see I'm just sort of trying to catch some of this stuff. Okay, uh, now I mentioned the flax, that was the blue flowers. There's also, if you zoom way in, you can see that these are cotton, cotton plants, wild cotton, I don't know, I don't know about that, you know, the historical or the natural accuracy of that, but that's there as well. So you can turn the cotton into cloth, which is, again, helpful. So I keep, in the early stage of, of a red ketchup, game, I, I mark all that. Uh, anytime I spot it, I mark it. Okay, so we've got four families, and it's looking like we've, okay, I, I made a mistake on my amount of time that it's going to take, so we will, ooh, that, that purple's pretty vibrant. Some, some of you might be uh, vibrant purple people. I'm going to go subdue black on this one. Black, so... I kind of made a, we'll see if it hurts me. We'll see if it hurts our, our city here that I didn't get that built. Cause it's, it's late autumn now. You can see some years you're gonna get snow in late autumn, some years you're not. But we have a lot more supplies on hand. So this seems to be going up a little bit faster. I wanna mark this flax there. Uh, some of these seasons are easier to spot the things you need. All right, we're just gonna put one fisherman here, but this should be this should be helpful having a, a fisherman in this area. Now, another thing I like about the red ketchup mod is there are different size barns, so you don't have to just either put the standard game big barn or nothing at all. So we could put in a little small barn. We could put in this medium. I think this medium sounds perfect. We'll put a medium-sized barn here so the, the the farm field can walk over and the fishermen. And while I'm down here at the beach, uh, that's not really the right word for it, at the, on the shoreline, I'm going to see, can we fit this? Uh, use the letter R to rotate your building. I want to see, oh, we can fit this here. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this here. It's silly uh, because we don't have any iron yet. So before we do that, you can see there's all there's all these tech trees, right? You need a blacksmith. You, you need <laughs> to make firewood. You need to make clothes. You need to need to make tools. All these things need to be done. Uh, so we don't have any trees right now, but we're gonna go ahead and mark some to be demolished. <laughs> I'm trying, you can probably tell, I'm trying not to take the trees that are up around our gatherer because I don't want to hurt our supplies in that way. But this stand of trees down here is probably going to mostly go. And then we will build a forester up here. Now, one of the things I like to do, uh, I'm not doing it here, I'm just building a regular forester. This game also has, uh, oh that's the new set of trees. This mod though has specialty foresters, if I can find them. They're under food, and then you go here, and now these are orchards. So what you can do is put in a forester that's going to give you wood, but then that will also make 
specific trees, like this one's apple trees, and apricot trees, and cherry trees, and chestnut trees, and so on. Now, I, you might consider this cheating, right, to, to put in something like that. It's, it's, it's really up to your own style of play. One of the things I like about the Red Ketchup mod is that it, it opens things up and allows you to play a variety of different styles. And, you know, some people are, would be really nervous to be sitting in early spring of their second year with no firewood and only 200 food and almost 20 people. But I feel pretty confident with this start. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. And, uh... We'll see if we can pick up here next time. Thanks for watching.